temperature start today with a magic number 970 degrees Celsius. It's the temperature needed to melt browns, and it catapulted men from the Stone Age to the Bronze Age. And browns hold special meanings in Chinese culture. In our four-part special series, we follow one of China's most renowned bronze art masters, Zhu Bingren, to see how he's transforming history and shaping tomorrow with these alchemical touches. Today, in this third episode, we go to explore his first bronze art museum and the concept of taking bronze home with you. Nestled off the historic Hefang Street in eastern China's Hangzhou, is artist Zhu Bingren's first bronze art museum. Jiangnan Brown's House was designed to recreate the most typical Jiangnan South residences of the Ming and Qing era, or roughly speaking, from the 14th to the early 20th century. Jiangnan, which refers to regions south of the lower reaches of the Yangtze River, has long been eulogized by poets for its exquisite style. Walking inside the Jiangnan Brown's House is like embarking on a journey back in time. Visitors get to see elaborate brown sculptures in courtyards and corridors, and the rooms are fully furnished with pieces made of browns. Uh, many people say, "Why do we want to build this Jiangnan Brown House?" Actually, this Jiangnan Brown House is to preserve our history, to leave a very important cultural heritage of our people. This is a cultural heritage of our people. This is a cultural heritage of our people. The Jiangnan Brown's House also houses Zhu's collection of historical archives related to Brown's art, as well as some of his past creations for the public to savor. He says he always tries to add new pieces. The museum currently hosts more than 2,000 Brown's artworks of Zhu, including a wide range of genres. For instance, this installation is one of the centerpieces. It shows the Browns' version of the traditional blue and white porcelain. Dozens of blue and white Browns vases were placed with the backdrop matching the patterns on the vases, all of which give visitors a really immersive experience. I have seen many pieces of the same pieces, many of them are in the ceiling, in the ceiling. But here, you can see the ceiling, 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 when creating these bronze vases, Zhu used a special molten copper technique to make the irregular cutouts. He explained that he wanted to retain the traditional shape, but also add a modern twist. However, the coloring process turned out to be quite a challenge, as the glaze used for ceramics didn't cling to the copper surface. Taking inspiration from traditional coloring techniques like enamel. Zhu was able to find a way to add a color coding to browns under a high temperature. Conventionally,它其实和我们这个中国的传统的大漆是很像的。一个氢化瓶大概要上十二道银色，通过这个高温的烘烤，再通过通过打磨，啊，这样就形成这个自由流畅的，叫流水型的这种，啊，这种色
In 2013, the two met at the Jiangnan Browns House, and so came about the beginning of their collaboration. 有一次参观这个，就是杭州的这个江南铜姑，给我印象很深。这是一个免费开放的，但是每年上百万观众，这个能够参观的一个场所。在进了铜姑以后，我觉得琳琅满目。那么，用铜能够做成一个艺术世界来，我觉得很震撼。那么当时故宫自己研发的文化创意产品呢，这个没有成系列。数量也比较少，但研发显然呢要借助社会的力量。那么跟朱先生，我们就提出呢，这个能不能研发一批传承故宫文化的文化创意产品 ？One is the then gatekeeper of the Palace Museum, and the other, the fourth generation inheritor of the Zhu family, known for its brownsware. Their expertise may be different. But what they do have in common is the determination to promote traditional culture. Since 2014, Zhu has been serving as a consultant for cultural and creative product development at the Palace Museum, and he's eager to explore new possibilities for the museum's vast collection of brownsware. The Palace Museum houses more than 15,000 pieces of brownsware from different dynasties. Many are close to national treasures, like the rectangular vessel with crane and lotus designs. Zhu would have an easy task replicating some of them. However, to everyone's surprise, he's eyeing up the painting Five Oxen. Because as a museum's heritage, it's actually a very important point that we have to use the heritage of the museum, the cultural and cultural heritage, that we have to not go completely and completely to destroy the history of the museum. 我希望在这个做文创的过程当中，让它有新的发展，有新的表现力。从国画的这个角度来说，它是个写实的一个画。不管是这文物的形态也好，是文物有不同的形态和不同的色彩，呃，和不同的这种笔笔法，几乎是所有的这种国画表现中是没有的。它有全新的一种章法。这种章法其实我对我们以后来讲，就有很多的呃，这个艺术品啊、呃，艺术的这种创作过程当中，它其实有很多借鉴的。The veteran artist is also looking to engage the younger generation by mixing the ancient craft with modern art. In 2011, he took his brown's art to Beijing's 798 Art District, known for presenting creative and avant-garde art. Revitalizing the time-honored craft has been his lifelong pursuit, and Zhu says he's ready to surprise people more as he keeps on creating and breaking boundaries. Shen Li, CGTN.